Oh hi, Roleplay Man UK here, and I'm back with another video. And today I want to talk about the top five most expensive crap in ESO. Don't panic, Zenimax. I'm not talking about your crown store. <laughs> uh, what a bunch of cucks. But anyway, I want to explore what's some of the most prized possessions out there and how much they go for. Oh, I'm Sawman UK. I'm really good at 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 p at at. I do PVE sometimes. Now, obviously, prices may vary, so I might not be 100% accurate. But I just thought I'd throw five items out there, which are notorious for being very expensive. Just a quick disclaimer, I want to keep this list more about items which are consistently in the top five, as opposed to items which fluctuate. For example, the Opal style pages. If you held on to one for about two, three years, they're now worth 50 million. So the ones in the list are ones which are consistently within the top five, are more static items, and are easily acquirable. Well, not easily, they're acquirable. So with that, let's jump into the top five most expensive items. Welcome on back everyone to episode 93 of the top five. First up is the Etheric Cypher. This bad boy can drop in pretty much any base game zone or dungeon just by killing ads. Now obviously it's a very, very low chance you'll get one, but if you do, well, you're in for a treat because you're about to make bank. They can range anywhere between four million to six or seven million. It's very dependent on one, if there's an event on, and two, how flooded the market is. Some people might be seeking one of these to try and make extra cash by crafting 150% potions. However, the economy on those, once again, it fluctuates. But most people are just trying to get this so they can complete their recipe book. Either way, if you think you're going to be able to go out there and farm this item, let me just tell you this right away, don't bother. It's just one of those lucky occurrences, so nice if it happens, but don't swear about it if it doesn't. The Clockwork Reliquary Rune Box is very much coveted by many PvP players who want to be a PV Chad, but just don't have the friends or the team to go away and do Veteran Asylum Sanctum. It's been made famous, I'd say, by content creators such as Nefas, and let's be honest, um, it does look pretty good. Who doesn't want to be a robot with laser beams? It does average a price of 5 mil, although there has been some controversy in the past because in the Crown Store they had a silver version, so it kind of maybe took away from the price. But overall, I think this is a pretty much a very rare but sought after item. The drop rate within the Silent Sanctum isn't great, so it does mean it's a bit more exclusive. Next up on the list is the Velovi Triple Stack Paintings. I know it's not what they're actually called, I just can't pronounce that word, that one there. But these go for a stupid amount of money. It's partly because you can't actually buy these in a crown store. They are only acquirable in treasure chests in the whole of Varnumfell. And I don't know what the drop rate is, but put it this way, it's not high. So don't try and farm these. I mean, you could try and farm these, but I don't think it'll be worth your time. Maybe I should do a video on farming these. I don't know. But anyway, point is, um, there's three different ones. There's also some other Velovi stuff, which comes into like similar price range, but not quite the same. So if you get anything below B, it's very likely to be worth a lot of money. Next up, we have another furnishing item. Well, more of a furnishing style. And if you can't tell from the background, we're actually talking about the Aenid furnishings. There are two pieces of furniture in particular, which are notorious for having a high price, which are the Aenid bookcase cluttered and the Aenid brazier fiery. The Aenid bookcase has consistently been priced at around 13 million gold average the brazier has not really been mentioned too much but someone's got a few updates in a minute for 16 but i don't think that's a consistent price so for the purpose of the top five i'm going to combine the two and say they have an average of about 15 million aided furnishing plans are quite expensive in general because they are very selective as to where they drop and in case you couldn't tell they only drop in aided ruins in other words if you're doing a delve and it's got an aided theme you actually have a small chance of being a millionaire in game. I wouldn't suggest trying to farm these because once again, the drop rate is very low. It's more of a case of if you are doing a delve and it's aided theme, check every bag, maybe twice. Before we take a look at what item is number one, I think it's only fair to give some honorable mentions to the following items. Style page books have consistently been worth a lot of money, but it's very much dependent on the style that you have. 
especially stuff when it comes to like worm cult which only pops around once a year which can actually make the actual complete book worth quite a lot of money sadly though it is very inconsistent as to how much these sell for so to include them in the top five i just felt wasn't really fair i want to look at more static items the white gold war taught recipe is another item which is pretty rare i mean it's rarer than rocking horse shit if i'm being completely honest with you and for that reason i couldn't include in the top five because I simply don't have the data to say if it will consistently sell for a certain price. I did ask Artea though, and she believes she's seen them sell for anywhere between 25 million, but as I said, I can't even find an item listed for the white gold water recipe. And with that, let's take a look at what is number one. So, without further delay, the number one item which costs the most on a consistent basis is none other than the Praxis Khajiit Brazier Enchanted Recipe. Now, you're probably wondering what is so special about this item. Well, it's because it's what you have to do in order to have a chance of having this drop for you. Let me explain. So first up, you have to complete the Elsewhere Prologue. Now, this is a completely free quest to do, so there's nothing like financially tying you into doing this. However, it is extremely long-winded, and very fucking boring, if I'm being honest, and I've done this before. When you've fully completed the prologue, a daily quest becomes available in the north part of Grartwood, and you can actually do this quest, which will drop some caches, which have a chance to contain the recipe for the brazer. These are repeatable, however, the drop rate, I have to tell you, it is really shit. I have done probably about 50 of these in one day, and never got anything remotely good. So in terms of being able to farm this item, I mean, you could try, but personally, I think your time could be spent doing better stuff. And with that, this concludes our top five most expensive crap in the Elder Scrolls Online. Obviously, this list is relevant as of today. Tomorrow, who fucking knows? Something might dynamically change to be worth 10 times more than its actual value. But that's the joy of an economy which is forever changing. I just want to say as well, if you got this far in the video, a big thank you because this actually took a bit of time and research to put together, more than I actually expected it to. So shout out to Artea and McStabs for giving me some advice. And if you feel like anything else could be added to this list, please comment below. And if you want more of this content, let me know. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.